All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Giovanna Di Surita and I am a local artist here in San Antonio. I had the amazing opportunity of portraying Sor Juan Inés de la Cruz and I hope that you all enjoy Eleonora's magazine. To me, uh, Juana is uh, the perfect representation of a woman that uh, inspires others, men or women, to live a life in purpose and to always set goals and move forward to conquer them. I feel like uh, Juana was living in the wrong moment maybe, and maybe not, right? But to live a life in purpose, to live uh, a life with no excuses, that's the perfect uh, idea that I, I feel like she left behind because she lived in a time period where women were not considered important and uh, we weren't able to study and the fact that today we live in this time period it's a blessing and sometimes we forget about that so i believe that that contrast that she allows us to know throughout her life and her story is the most beautiful thing because now we can say there's no a reason why i'm not living my life the way it should be So uh, the way I prepared was, I think, one of the most exciting uh, projects. I actually went to El Caustro in Mexico City. That's the nunnery where she stayed at. And I got to go through the rooms and to walk in the same floors that she actually walked in and hear the stories behind the people that actually now live there. Um, it's a university, so to hear the stories behind the students, to read the books and to actually feel her presence there. Uh, they have her body and her uh, writings all over the place and you get to actually interact with, I believe, is her spirit. And that's how I prepared. I actually went there and asked her, if she would allow me to do this project and I would like to actually invite her the day of the photo shoot so that she could live through my body in a way, if that makes sense. As an artist, it does. I just didn't want to just pose. I wanted her to speak through the pictures. Well, it was beautiful. It was nerve wracking because not only was I the focus point in the moment uh, but I really ha I had this need to really do it right and to really concentrate and remove my ego and my fears and the place where the photo shoot happened helped a lot and the team was amazing so in a sense as nervous as I was it came a moment that when the camera was there, ready to shoot, um, I felt calm. I felt like I was in the right moment, in the right uh, time. And uh, I just felt like she really was there in the, in the sense of uh, her spirit. That was the most complicated scene. At the same time, it was the easiest somehow uh, I really wanted to convey the message that uh, in her lifetime even though she constantly fought to never be silent and to exp explain who she was and who we as women are um, she got hurt and the moment she got hurt and couldn't uh, stand up again was the moment that they burned 
her dreams by burning her library, all her important books and all of the letters she wrote. And to me it was very important that that moment and I could actually explain to the viewer that this was the most painful moment for her. So I was able to actually feel the pain as if I was walking to my gallery and I could see all my art pieces destroyed, the creations that took so long, right? And I think that was a moment I will never forget. <laughs> she was uh, an incredible human being and Juana never really did anything without a reason. And I feel like what she left behind was that we need to create our beautiful masterpieces. In my, in my opinion, now I give a story to all my art pieces because of her. Because I want the viewer to actually connect to the piece, to actually convey a message. Not only a beautiful art piece that will hang there forever, but I want that to be a story and I feel like I have to thank her for that. Si tuviera Juana Inés de la Cruz enfrente de mí, yo creo que lo primero que haría sería agradecerle porque ella fue el perfecto contraste que nos ayuda hoy en día a agradecer que estamos vivos hoy, en este momento de nuestras vidas donde somos libres, donde las mujeres podemos decir lo que pensamos, donde podemos votar, donde podemos leer, estudiar y todo eso se lo debemos obviamente a todas las mujeres que se levantaron y dijeron quiero ser igual, ¿me entiendes? Quiero ser considerada, pero también yo creo que a Sor Juana me gustaría mucho agradecerle porque gracias a su persistencia, a su inteligencia y a su fortaleza hoy en día podemos decir wow, sigue siendo una mujer admirable que jamás se dio por vencida a pesar de que todo en su vida estaba en contra de ella. Entonces el poder decir, wow, gracias, gracias por ese contraste, porque has venido a sufrir y a enseñarnos que hoy en día no hay una excusa el por qué no estamos viviendo con un propósito y el por qué no estamos cumpliendo nuestros sueños. Okay.